Hello, today we are assembling the SPT 200 pan and tilt system. It is a kit that is comprised of two sub assemblies, the first being the DDT 500, which we will be assembling in this video, and the second is the DDP 125, which is assembled in a separate video. A link to that video can be found in the description. For this project, you will need a Phillips head screwdriver as well as a 764th inch hex head driver. First, take the round ABS plate that has the larger hole in it, the aluminum servo horn, and four of the 632 by one half inch pan head machine screws. Fasten the aluminum servo horn to the smooth side of the ABS plate using the pan head screws. Next, grab this ABS plate as well as the quarter inch bore flange ball bearing. You'll press the ball bearing into the textured side of the ABS plate. When you have that finished, grab the second circular ABS plate, the one with the smaller hole in it, the one half inch aluminum standoff, and a 632 by one half inch pan head screw. Fasten the aluminum standoff to the smooth side of this ABS plate using the pan head screw. This next step is only applicable if you are building the SPT 200 kit and not for the DDT 500. You will take the H shaped ABS plate, the 1 quarter inch bore aluminum clamping hub, the 632 by 3 8 inch socket head screw, the black one half inch Phillips pan head screw and four more of the 632 by one half inch pan head screws. First feed the socket screw into the clamping hub then press the hub into the ABS plate and fasten it in place with the pan head screws. Next, use the black pan head screw to fasten the plate that has the ball bearing in it into this H-shaped plate so that the clamping hub is facing down. For this video, we're using a high-tech 485 HB servo. You will attach this servo to the smooth side of the ABS plate using the black 3 8 inch truss screws. You'll need to leave these screws a little loose so that you'll be able to adjust the position of the servo later on. Next, you'll attach this piece to the other side of the H-shaped ABS plate so that the servo is facing in. Again, you'll use the black one half inch pan head screw. Next, you need the one and a quarter inch round standoff and two of the one half inch pan head screws. Secure the standoff in between the two upright plates using the screws. Next, press the plate with the servo horn onto the output shaft of your servo and use the screw that came with your servo to fasten that in place. At this point, it's a good idea to check the tilt range of your device and make any needed adjustments. This kit includes two black plastic spacers. Choose one that gives you enough room depending on the servo that you're using. We'll slide that over the standoff attached to the other round plate and slide that through the ball bearing. At this point, you'll have one last ABS plate. Snap that onto the top and then use the remaining two black one half inch flathead screws to fasten that in place. If you tilt the platform to the side, you'll see that the holes line up so that you can tighten the screws holding your servo in place. This allows you to make any needed adjustments to ensure that the platform is level. That concludes the assembly for the DDT500. If you're building the SPT200, you'll need to next assemble the DDP125 kit. You can get to the instructions for that kit by clicking on the link on the screen. Once you have the 125 kit done, it's as simple as snapping the 
500 onto the top of the 125 and locking that in place with your hex head driver. If you have any questions about this kit, feel free to leave a comment. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. And as always, thank you for watching.